Hi, this is Renee with Rock Off Photography and Music Magazine.com, and today I got Greg Trebet, guitarist for the band Audio Topsy. Thank you for joining me today. What's up, man? How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Hey, so you got some exciting things coming up. You have a new album called The Real Now coming out November 2nd, right? Correct. Excellent. That's awesome. Finally done. Yeah. How was the writing process for this? For this album, did you have stuff going into the studio or did y'all write this on site? Uh, no, I actually started writing it probably a year ago. I actually finished guitars a year ago this month. Oh, really? So I started writing maybe probably a year and a half ago. But basically how it goes is I usually go up to, because uh, we're all live in four different states. Yeah. So it's really hard, hard to get together and write together. So we did a lot of file sharing for demos and stuff basically is what happened. Right. So, you know, for anybody that's not familiar with Audio Topsy, because, you know, not, you know, somewhat fairly new, but not really, you've been around since 2015, how would you describe your sound? Um, well, I would say it's hard rock, man. You know, a little on the edgy side, but hard rock. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, as far as, well, we did put a record out in 2015, we're fairly a new band. Like a lot of people do not know about us, you know. And even though the members that are in the band are known for bigger bands, <laughs> yeah, it's you know we're, we're still a new band, man, really. Yeah. So you know, what would be different from your your first album was called Natural Causes? Came like you're saying came out in 2015. How is this one the the real now differ in that respect? Um, I think it's just maturity in the band. You know, we did some tours together. We didn't really know each other when we came in. And, well, we've never written together before or anything like that. So there was a learning process. But now that, you know, after being together for three years, the band's matured. We know each other a lot better. And, you know, it's, we kind of know what each other's going to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that that definitely helps out. Is You know, you kind of, and as time went on, you kind of worked out the kinks. Absolutely, man. I think, you know, it's definitely uh, a take from Natural Causes, but I think there's a lot of growth in the new record. Excellent. And you also have, y'all just put out a new single called uh, What Am I? How's the reception been yeah. for that? That's been really great, man. People have been praising the song, which I'm happy to hear. You know, it's always hard to choose that first song you want to put out, but I thought What Am I would be a good track. Yeah. Now, is you know choosing this this first single? Does that you know almost reflect of of what you know anybody that picks up this album can expect, or is this a, this is just one style or flavor of what you have in this you know mixed bag? Uh, this is definitely one style, one flavor. That's a mix of tunes, man. That's a roller coaster ride for sure. Yeah, well, that's good to know. <laughs> so you know, yeah, putting out music, you know. You know, like you just had your first single, you know, off this new album. Do you find it difficult, you know, to get out to the masses the the music that you put out, or is it easier now because of the internet, social media, and such? Especially for a younger band, or like you were mentioning, not many people know about Audio Top to yet. But um, I do think it's easier nowadays just because of social media sites stuff and streaming sites so you can go to Spotify you can listen to the single there you know or I just think there's a lot of talk via internet that's basically how you find out about bands anymore yeah yeah and it's weird yeah, you know yeah. go ahead but it's not necessarily finding out by bands by radio because radio doesn't always play a new band you know there's like there's a process with that whole thing so if you're a new band you're putting out music you definitely want to use social media sites to promote yourself. Yeah. And that's and that's funny how social media has almost in a sense, or streaming services, almost in a sense, has kind of taken place of like back in the day of doing tape trading and, and talking to different people about new bands coming up. Absolutely, man. <laughs> it's a lot like I've been saying all along. It's a fast-paced world. And, you know, people don't. They have no patience anymore, so that's just like, whatever they can get as fast as they can get it. 
Right. You know, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, you kind of miss, you know, myself, you know, be, being a little bit older, kind of miss going to, you had to wait for that release of, of the record day that it came out. And then, you know, going to the actual place to go buy it. It was just a, a different feel to it compared to now. Absolutely, man. I, I went to a mom and pop store a couple of weekends ago, and I was just like, wow, it's been a while since I've been in one of these stores, you know? I'm like, they're basically obsolete anymore. Right. A lot of them are closing down. Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, unfortunately. It, you know, you guys are also currently on tour, correct? What's that? Are you guys also currently on tour? I think I saw on your Facebook. We are not touring right now. Oh, no? Oh, that's weird. I mean, maybe it was from previous. You know, but you are going to be, of course, touring, you know, in support of this album. Uh, do you have any tour plans that you can talk about right now? Um, Not really, man. I don't think we're going to do anything the rest of this year. The startup will probably be next year at some point. Now, do, you know, do you yourself being en enjoy being on the road touring? I love to go on the tour. Yeah. It's nice to have a, a break every once in a while because I've done it for so long with my thing, you know, this back to back album tour and album tour for like, you know, whatever, whatever it was, 10, 12 years. Right. You know, but it, it's nice to have a break right now and kind of step back and look at your life and go, wow, that was flying really fast. Yeah, it sure does, you know. Uh, and you know, mentioned you mentioned of course you know you used to be in Mudvayne, you also used to be in Hill, yeah, you know, and we're still still kind of on the topic of touring. What are the, some of the things that you know you do for yourself to kind of keep sane while you're on tour? Keep sane. Uh, well, I lock myself in my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we'll watch movies and keep away from it until the night comes, and then I'll go out and get crazy. Yeah. So Other than on days off, man, I like to golf. Yeah. Would Would that be something you know that you would maybe pass down to younger bands that are touring and and you know trying to put in the miles is is try to find time for yourself you know to kind of keep centered. Absolutely, you definitely got to find time for yourself on the road. Otherwise, it can be. It can get really, really crazy, you know. You, you definitely need that time or space every day, even if it's only 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, so something that I was, you know, looking at, uh, you know, from, you know, your music, uh, your photos, you're, you're also sponsored by Legator Guitars, right? Yeah. So yes. how, how long have you been with them? Well, I've been with them a few years now. Now, I, I, I was playing with them, I mean, it's like five or six years now, I guess I was playing them in, hell yeah, Yeah. the last time I was with hell yeah, whatever, so, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, so I, I've been seeing a lot more artists, you know, being sponsored by them, it's, it seems like they're building quite a, a, a great reputation, you know, what is it about, for you, that you enjoy about that, those styles of guitars? Uh, and they custom build them for me, man, so I can kind of get my second choice, you know, of what I want. But yeah. the, the guitars are phenomenal, man. They, I mean, they just play great. They're lightweight, you know. It doesn't drag you down or anything like that. So, yeah, they're really great guitars. Awesome. And you also have your own, you know, like you mentioned, your own signature model. Yeah. That's awesome. That That's great to have a company that'll, that supports you and build it the way you want as opposed to you know, you know, another company to come in is like, no, this is how we do it, and you have to kind of go with that. Pretty much, man. I mean, you know, I love it that they support me and, you know, and will give me what I want, so you know, I'm glad to support them as well. Yeah, that's excellent. Now, you know, other things that you got going on for your pre order packages for the new album coming out, is there bundles that fans can get? Do you know, Will there be any specialty, like, you know, you order this, this this one will be signed, or anything special that did you have coming out with this? Uh, I think we're working on something like that right now, but for right now, the pre-order is through uh, Amazon. Right. And then uh, I'm pretty sure that we're going to drop another track here in a couple of weeks, and I think it'll go from Amazon to iTunes, you know, the normal outlets or whatever. Right. Now, you know, this their last single was just it just had an image 
you know, for the single, uh, the video or I guess video single. On this next one that you're talking about, will you all be doing like the usual classic video or is it just going to be the, the music release, the single release? Um, we're talking about doing a lyric video possibly for it. Yeah. That, those seem to be some that are a little bit easier to kind of get them out there as opposed to going in, producing, doing all this other stuff, you know, making a, a big uh, production value for a video. Yeah, well, like I said, we all live in four different states, so doing a video with the band is, is going to require some travel. Some, right. You know, it's going to requ require a lot more than putting up a lyric video, you know what I mean? Right. You know, whatever makes it convenient, which, which is nice this day and age that you can... You know, record a track, send it over. Here's the demo. What I've got. You know, and put have everybody's different input in it. Yeah, that's exactly how we worked on this record. Excellent. Well, great. You know, I just one last question. You know, any last words for fans of what what they can expect from Audiotopsy in this near future? You said you know you're not going to tour till the next year, but anything else that they can be looking out for? Um, we're definitely going to drop a couple more tracks this year. Um, Definitely. I mean, just you know, the record comes out November second. You can look at us on all the social media sites, and uh, get out and pick it up, support it. Excellent. I know we will here. Greg, thank you for your time. I hope you have a excellent release, and I hope, wish you all the best, man. Uh, same to you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Yep. Bye.